IATIX is excited to present its integration with the IFTTT service. IFTTT stands for If This Then That and it is a service that connects apps and devices in new and remarkable ways enabling some exciting possibilities. To begin, download the IFTTT app from the Play Store or App Store and create an account. Their free plan provides three applets. Let's make our first applet which will be to turn the light off when your phone is plugged into charge. This could be a routine right before you sleep. Each applet will need two parts, a trigger, which in this case will be to plug the phone in, and the second part, the action, which will be to turn the light off. To set the trigger, click on Android battery and select when device is plugged in. To set the action, search and select IOTIC service from the list of services. Then select the specific action you would like to perform. In this case, it will be to turn off a particular device switch. You will just have to connect your IATIX user account with your IFTTT user account. To do this, type in your IATIX username and password. Once your accounts are linked, select the device and the particular switch you would like to perform the action you selected. You can choose to be notified when this action takes place. The applet is now ready. You can see when the device is plugged in, the light turns off and you're notified that this action has taken place. Let's create one more where a device turns off if the phone disconnects from a Wi-Fi network. This will be useful for people who might often forget to turn off a switch before leaving the office or home. We select the trigger to be when the phone disconnects from a specific Wi-Fi network. We select the action to turn off a particular switch. Let's create another applet. In this, the IOTIC switch will act as a trigger for a notification. To begin, let's search and select the IOTIC service from the list of services. The trigger is when a switch is turned on, so let's select that. Let's select the exact switch from the list, in this case it is a TV. Now the trigger is set, let's set the action for this. In this instance, we can use the default IFTTT notification service. Let's type in the message we would like to receive when this event takes place to finish the applet. You can see that when the event takes place, a notification is shown. 